today we're here to talk about the Optica smoke detector that was developed by the Edwards Engineering Group. The need came about when NFPA saw a change that they were making to their requirements to address nuisance alarms where people would have alarms that would go off like in their kitchen if they burnt something or caused from steam or dust and the detectors would false alarm. The second need they saw was a difference in the materials that were being put into homes and buildings today versus 20, 30 years ago were more based on synthetic materials, petroleum-based materials that burned much differently than what they did several years ago. UL did a test with two rooms side by side. One had natural materials representing say 20, 30 years ago the other one being more modern materials. And the difference from flame over from one room to the other was dramatically different from a time period when a small fire was started in both rooms. One took 29 minutes on the natural room. The other one took a little over three minutes on the modern room. So with that, they developed two new fires to put into the requirements. And that was the flaming foam fire and the smoldering foam fire, both a polyurethane foam material. They did a bunch of studies on what burns in a home, what causes nuisance alarms. They burned several different types of food and they actually standardized on hamburgers and broiling of the hamburgers. So that was introduced as the nuisance fire. So with our detectors that we sell today, whether it be the SIGA PS or SIGA PD, they primarily work on a single IR forward signal. And I have an example of one here, and you can see we have one IR LED and one photo dial. And as particles enter the photo chamber, that gets in a reflection. When that reflection goes above a certain threshold, the device alarms. But it doesn't know what kind of particle or what kind of smoke is in its chamber. The Edwards Engineering Group came up with a solution based on the Mi light scattering theory. And what this is, is by reflecting light at different angles and different wavelengths, we can determine the particle size of the smoke that enters the smoke detector. And an example of this is the Optica detector where we have IR LED, a blue LED, and then a backscatter IR LED. With this, we are able to tell the size of the particle that comes into the chamber and based on the size then we know how to adjust our alarm algorithms to make a determination of when the device should not alarm or when the device should alarm. With our current detectors trying to meet the, the requirements of the polyurethane foam fires where we have to alarm very quickly um, and then the nuisance fire where we cannot alarm what this created was basically a detector that couldn't meet both requirements. We had one scenario where we had to be very sensitive and alarm very early on the polyurethane fires and where we had to be very insensitive on the nuisance fires. We developed the Optica smoke detector and brought it to Underwriters Laboratory to meet their new requirements and we were able to be the first commercial spot smoke detector to be approved to the new standard. After Optica was released and approved by UL, one of the first beta site that we installed Optica was in a university where they were having problems in their dormitory of one false alarm every other day. After installing Optica in the dormitories where these nuisance alarms were happening, the false alarms fell to zero at a point where the school was worried that the detectors were not working, they actually sent detectors back to Bradenton Engineering for us to analyze and look at the device history to see what the detectors were seeing. When we looked at the information, we did see that the detector heads were seeing multiple nuisance events, but because we saw them as nuisance, uh, the devices did not alarm, which is what they were supposed to. One of the big advantages that we had here at Edwards to develop the new Optica smoke detector was our test laboratories. We have an exact replica of the fire room that Underwriters Laboratories uses in our facility. So with that fire test room, we are able to 
do multiple tests of these fires multiple times so the engineers can correctly adjust our optica detectors to meet the requirements for the new fires. By having the facilities here, by having the personnel, we were able to, I feel, make a detector that will give our customers more confidence that if a device alarms, they know it's a truly an alarm event, not a nuisance event, and also will give our customers more time to evacuate in case of a real fire.